Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are having a really good day. Uh, we're doing pretty good here. We're uh, enjoying the snow, I guess you could say, <laughs> from the inside, but it's still pretty cold, but it's going to hopefully start warming up. I think it got up to 34 today, so I'm excited about that. So it started melting a little bit. It sure is pretty, but I'm like I said before, I'm ready for some hot weather. But anyway, I want to say welcome to everybody, and today is Throwback Thursday. And if you're new, I'll tell you what it is about. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm going and finding patterns that kind of date back like in the 1960s all the way up to like into the not, like 1990s and the late 1990s. And I'm wanting to do like Throwback Thursdays on it instead of doing like I used to be doing the Whip Wednesdays. But I thought a Throwback Thursday would be fun. And so because I got really interested in a lot of the older type patterns. And uh, so I've been finding some books and magazines and finding uh, websites where I've been going and hunting up patterns and doing some of them. And I've, I've done a few videos already of some of the things that I've made. And what I need to do is make a playlist and put them all together. That way, if you want to go back and look, you can go check it out. And I'll do that. I'll get a playlist made up. But anyway, I'm having a lot of fun doing it. and uh, But I'm also finding out that some of these uh, older patterns are pretty tricky. <laughs> I've kind of struggled with it. So I've uh, been doing my own twist on it. You know, if I see something and I see that I can't understand it, I'll go online and find something that's pretty close to it that, you know, I can understand a little bit more. And so the one I'm going to show you today, I'm really excited about it because I've already made one before. And it's what I have on, and it's my shrug. And I finally got it finished. I think I finished it two days ago. And I've already made one before, but I wanted to do it in like a, more of a springy, summery type colors. And so, anyway, uh, I got the other one right here in my lap I'm going to show you. And um, so, anyway, I ended up making it, but not without a mistake. I don't know how I did it. I mean, I know what I did, but I don't know why I didn't catch it in the beginning. But it's okay. I still love it but it's the sleeves. Whenever you make it, you, you lay it down and you fold it in half and then you got a, I think it was like so many inches and then you crochet to where you get to a certain part where you have the head opening. Well, I didn't do it right, but I didn't catch it until later on and I wasn't gonna rip it out. I had already sewed the openings, you know, the strings and everything in and I wasn't gonna go back. So I thought, you know, I'll just make it a little bit different than the other one that I've already made. Now, this is my first one, and like I said, I absolutely love this shrug. It is so warm, and this colorway is, um, the yarn is Red Heart, Hello Gorgeous, and it's the colorway Sedona, and I actually looked for it. Now, I did find it one day online. You can't find it in, at least at my Walmart anymore, but I did find it online, and then when I went back to look again, they said it was out of stock. Now, whether they have discontinued it, I really don't know. But I really love this shrug, and I wanted to make one in spring and summer light color. So I ended up picking up some man mandala ombre, and I did it in the serene. And this has got like uh, 344 yards, and I believe I ended up using an eye hook. I got my little stitch marker there to, to remind me. <laughs> I used an eye hook on it, and I ended up using four of these. Now... In the pattern, I believe it's, oh, I can't remember. It's, it seems like it was like 1,700 yards or something like that. I don't know. I ended up using just like four of these, and then I stopped because I thought it's big enough for me. And it was probably pertaining to the size that you made because I ended up doing mine smaller than what I did with this one. So, the mistake that I made. Okay. It was on the sleeves. It's got a big opening right here. It shouldn't have had an opening that big. <laughs> Should have been more like that, and that was because I didn't pay attention to what I was doing. And I'll show you the difference on that one to this one. If I can find the sleeve here, here it is. See, this one's not very big, and this one is pretty big. <laughs> so, I wasn't paying attention, but that's okay. I think it gave it character, even more character. <laughs> I'll put a picture of it right here. I uh, got a picture of it wearing it outside in the snow, and I'll put it right here where you guys can see it and what it looks like in the back. But I absolutely love it. I think it turned out really pretty, and I'm very happy with it. And if you're interested in it, I'll put a link down below where you guys can go check out the pattern. It is by uh, Jean Steinhilber, and it's free on their blog. I don't know if I've already said that or not. But uh, 
I'm, I'm very pleased with it and it's just a two row repeat and they give you however size that you need, you know, however many go by inches across. I think I ended up doing mine, uh, I'm going to say 34 maybe. Now, and now the other thing that I did different is I did some front post, back post stitching around the edge to give it a little bit of texture because they don't do that in the pattern. I did it around the sleeve too. And I actually did it on this one just to give it a little bit of a, you know, texture around it and stuff. I think it made it look, you know, pretty. I did it around the edge of that one too. So I think it turned out really good. I'm really pleased with it. And, and you know, who knows, I might end up making another one, maybe in Christmas colors this time. <laughs> but anyway, um, now, what am, I, what am I starting on this time? Well, as you know, whenever I talked about it last Thursday on Throwback, I decided I wanted to do a Christmas top. Let me see if I can find a magazine here. Um, I wanted to make some sweaters because I'm, good Lord willing, I'm hoping I get to do Vlogmas this, this December because I had so much fun doing it this last December. And so here's an, an old magazine that I found, and this is a Crochet World, and it's dated 1994 in December. And this one right here seems to be the one out of all those magazines that I found at an antique store that has all of the uh, patterns in it that I'm interested in. So, I found one that I really liked, and it's called the uh, Women's Blue and Gold Shell. And here it is. And I thought, you know, that'd be really cool to make one in Christmas colors. And matter of fact, it mentions it down here. <laughs> so, I thought they would read my mind. So, I'm going to do it in red and white. And I'm going to try to see if I can find me a turtleneck, because I kind of want it to look like candy cane. And I'm wanting to make me some uh, sweaters to wear during Vlogmas this year. So I've got one started now, and I started it last night. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. And I'm doing it in um, all in mainstay. And here's what we got. <laughs> and I'm hoping this will fit me. Because I actually had to go a little bit bigger than what the pattern called for. Because the one they had was size 14, 16, and I kind of held it up to me and I thought, I don't know if I'm going to have a turtleneck on underneath it. That might be a little tight. <laughs> so I did a few more extra uh, chains and then went back and did it. So anyway, I'm doing it, like I said, in the mainstay red and mainstay white. But I think it's going to be really cute. <laughs> and then on the bottom, it's going to have ribbing because you go back later and you add the ribbing and I'm going to do it in solid red. I think. Who knows? I might do it in solid green. I just want the Christmas colors in there. <laughs> The traditional Christmas colors, I guess you could say. But I'll probably stick to the red. And I'm doing it in a H-hook. That's what it called for. So I'm super excited about getting that one done. And it's it's really a fun stitch. And I think, you know, it's really pretty. I like the way it looks. Probably showing you the backside. I don't know. Here it is. <laughs> and this, and they, you know, they tell you to finish off on each row, you know, when you switch colors. And I'm not. I'm just carrying it up the side because that's a lot of sewing in. And so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it'll uh, turn out. <laughs> okay. So then after that, I decide, you know, I got to have an amigurumi in there too. I can't just, I can't just do that. I got to have another one. So I found one in one of the books that I picked up at the antique store when I got that whole slew of them. And it, it's in the Annie's crochet newsletter and this one is dated uh, March April 1992 and then I found this and it's called um, it's in a nursery time and it's the tweed rabbit by Michelle Wilcox and here you go I think that is so cute and you know Easter's coming up and spring and so I couldn't resist I thought I got to do this one so I started working on it today and I happen to have I almost did it in the velvet yarn, but I thought, no, I'm going to use some of this other yarn that I picked up a year ago at an antique store, one of my favorite antique stores, and they had it in there for, I think it was like a dollar a skein, and so I picked up the two that they had, and it's this one right here, and whoever had it before got it on clearance because it had like a little clearance sticker on it, and this is a Yarn Bee Tender, Tender Touch, and it's the colorway, I think they say rain, it says rain, yeah. So it's a bulky, and I hope I have enough, because I believe it says it's got 135 yards in each one, so I hope I have enough to do it. And I'm using an H hook for it, 
And this is what I got so far. See if I can get it out here. Probably, I'm sure it looks a little weird right now. <laughs> so that's, that's its body. That, this is actually its feet and its feet curl up like that. Because you got to do a front panel and a back panel and then sew it together. I'm kind of curious about how the head's going to work up. Because that's where I'm at now. Because, you know, I'm not, I've never really done a panel. I, I've done one. I've done a Valentine one. But this will be my second one I've ever done. If I remember right. So this is what I'm going to be making. For my throwback Thursday. And it's really fun. And it's working up really good. And it, you know, I really like that. It's really going to be cute. So, but anyway, I think that's it on all my throwback. Um, yeah, that is. That's all I got to show you. So, like I said, I'm really excited about my shrug. And I know uh, several of you guys are talking about making one. Or you're actually working on one. But um, I really, really love it. And I think it's a really easy pattern. And yeah, I highly suggest it. If you're interested in making one, um, I really, I think it's an easy one, a beginner friendly one myself. Just don't do like me and not pay attention <laughs> to the sleeves. <laughs> well, like I said, I think it gave it a little bit of a flair there. You know, who knows? You know, it, it's okay to do something a little different, even if it wasn't intentional. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to get off of here. I got to go outside and do my evening chores in the snow still so anyway i hope you guys have a wonderful blessed day and i will be seeing you up here tomorrow on the progress of my scrappy uh, rug y'all have a good evening <laughs>